Every now and then, you need a weekend project for the workshop that is just for fun. So in this video, I'll be building this miniature whipper trebuchet. Now although this trebuchet is a toy, if it were to throw some ammo towards one of your face balls, it is going to hurt or do permanent damage. So if you make one and play with it, wear some eye protection in the form of glasses, or maybe even a face shield. If you want to build one of these for yourself, there will be download links for the DXF files in the video's description. I'll be using my Xtool P2 laser cutter to cut the parts from 6mm or quarter inch plywood. Some types of wood cut cleaner than others, and as I found out, the blue gum middle layer in this plywood creates quite a lot of carbon from the cutting process. So I sanded the edges to clean up the parts. Next, the arm supports are glued to the main arm. After gluing the base together, I realised I needed more clearance to prevent the swing arm hook that will be added later from hitting the base. This feature has been included in the 3D files so you won't have to cut out the slot by hand like I'm doing here. To mount the swing arm, I'll be using 8mm threaded rod. This outside chamfering tool is super handy for cleaning up threads. I'll leave an Amazon link in the video description if you want to pick one up. Bearings are installed in the frame for the axle to rotate on. Next, the keepers are installed on each side of the bearings. I use nylock nuts to hold the axle in position. Next, I use 6mm threaded rod to mount the wheels. And with that done, the trebuchet is coming together nicely. Now I needed to add some weights. I rummaged around in the workshop and found this aluminium round stock and chucked it in the lathe. I'll be the first to admit making weights from this stock material on a lathe is absolutely overkill, but I'll use any excuse to practice my lathe work.
each weight is just shy of 400 grams. So with two weights the total counterbalance weight is 800 grams. I mounted the weights using 8mm threaded rod with a plastic spacer between the arms to prevent the arms from pinching inwards. Now I moved on to adding a hook at the end of the arm. I mixed up some epoxy and glued in a piece of wire. Later I can bend the wire to change the angle of release. While the glue sets, I cut a short piece of webbing to create a sling. Using a small screwdriver, I poked a hole in each corner. And then I used some 2mm nylon cord to make the sling. I fold some notches at the top of the arm to tie one end of the sling to. And the other end of the sling has a loop which slips over the hook. The length of the sling should be just above the axle the arm pivots from. The sling needs to be held during the initial stage of the launch to prevent the ammo from falling out. So as a temporary measure, I used some tape wrapped around the weight arms to hold the sling in position. With that done, I can head outside and try the trebuchet for the first time. And I had no idea where that went. So I set up a large cardboard target and tried again. It seems the sling is releasing too early and is probably throwing the ammo vertical. So I put a bend in the hook to make the sling release later in the rotation. And we have our first hit. After doing two more shots, it seemed to be fairly consistent. However, I felt the nylon string I used was a bit on the heavy side which may be harming performance. So I replaced the 2mm nylon string with some lighter nylon string line, which seems to yield better performance. With that done, I moved on to using heavier ammo in the form of an M6 nut, which is still on the lighter side of what this trebuchet can throw, but we'll see how it performs. That sounded like a respectable impact, so I set up a piece of MDF for a target and tried again. In an attempt to measure the sling speed, I set up a backboard with 50mm vertical lines and recorded the sling in 240 frames per second slow mo. However, this wasn't fast enough since the sling is merely a fuzzy blur across the screen. 
From what I can make out, the sling is travelling at least 50 metres per second, but it may be much faster than that. Overall this was a fun weekend project, and don't forget to check out the links in the description if you want to make one for yourself. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.